Hello and welcome back. Today we're making an Austrian Bavarian classic. It's called Kaiserschmarrn. Originally a poor people's dish made from eggs, flour and milk. Pretty much like a pancake, except it's very fluffy and it's not the shape of a pancake, it is torn up. Hence the name Schmarrn. You need egg yolks, egg whites, flour, a little bit of sugar and a little bit of milk. The first step is to take a bowl and put in your egg whites. Set that aside for the moment. Then take another bowl and here you're gonna mix flour, eggs and milk, a little bit of sugar and a pinch of salt. I tend to take more eggs than the recipe calls for. Traditionally the recipe calls for around four eggs for three portions. I'm having three eggs here for one portion and I'm essentially replacing milk with it because we are not poor people anymore. We want more flavor and the eggs bring the flavor. So I'm just gonna add a couple tablespoons of flour and then I'm just gonna add my eggs, a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of sugar. You can always add more later, so that's not a problem. We need a good pinch of salt. Let's mix that up. Now I'm just gonna add milk in small dashes, let's say tablespoons, two tablespoons, depending on the amount of dough you're making. There, this can use a little more. I'm just careful here because I'm making such a small portion, so a little goes a long way. See, we're almost there. A tad bit thinner and we're good to go. All right, this is the right consistency. I'm just gonna mix this up a little on high so I incorporate a little bit of air. This is already it. I'm quickly gonna rinse off these beaters because now I have to get my egg whites stiff. I tend to put a little bit of salt, just a teeny bit into the egg whites, then they stiff up easier. And now just beat the crap out of them. As you can see, it's stiff. And now you just work this in real slow. Normally you do this by taking a little bit of the beaten egg whites and stir those in. Okay, so now since we loosened that up, we put the rest in. And we just stir this as little as possible. Let's say 10 times. Seven, eight. This is actually enough. See, you still have unincorporated egg whites, but that's fine. So if the majority is worked in, it will sort itself out in the pan. Speaking about pan, this was already it. We're just gonna hop over there and toss this into a hot pan with some butter in it and essentially fry it just like you would any pancake. I'm just heating up my pan and I'm gonna toss some butter into it. You want this hot to make it easier, you could use clarified butter. That would be a good idea because you can heat that up a lot more before it starts to burn. But regular butter will do. So let this melt and yes, use a generous portion of regular butter here. That's good. Now I'm going down to like seven of 10 and I'm just tossing all of my dough in here. You just flatten this out to cover your entire pan and then you wait. You want this golden brown on the bottom and then you're gonna flip it over just like a pancake. This will take, let's say five, six, seven minutes uh, originally in Austria, what they're doing is they just give it the first brown and then they put it in a preheated oven. That's a good method to do it. I've always done it in a pan and it turns out just fine. Okay. 
Oh, we did it. Almost a little bit too dark here. The other side goes pretty quickly. See? At this point, everything's cooked. So what we're doing now is you take two spoons or something like that. I'll take these two scrapers. And what you do is you tear it up into coarse pieces like this. And that's essentially what makes it a schmarrn. I'm turning off the heat at this point, otherwise I want to burn it. I'm just going to put this on a plate. This is now just dusted with a little bit of powdered sugar. It's generally served with prunes, with a prunes compote. I don't have that. Next best thing would be the same thing with cherries. So cherries in the light syrup, they're not really all that readily available in the US unless you make them yourself. So for me, and that's how I grew up, we simply used applesauce. You put that on the side and there is your dinner or lunch. Your kids will like it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more of those. That's a really nice meal. See you next time.